So what you just saw is actually Xbox Game Pass running natively on the Steam Deck through Windows 11, or in this case, PC Game Pass, with the Xbox Companion app. I have finally been able to download my Game Pass games directly to the system itself and not using xCloud or any cloud gaming service and play my games with full controller support. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. What I'm about to show you is actually the most important thing you'll need in order to get controller support for your Steam Deck controller. If you're using an Xbox controller or playing on tabletop or docked mode and having a controller plugged in, you don't actually need this. You can just play your Game Pass games that way. But if you want to use the actual controller on the Steam Deck system itself, you're going to need this app called Glossy, which basically gives you controller support in Windows and all of your Game Pass games. Uh, so. I do have it here, Glossy 2.06. I had a different version of this same application and it did not work. So specifically 2.06 is what worked for me. I don't know, whenever you're watching this, uh, I don't know if this will have a different version or if you're gonna find a different version. I'm just gonna leave a link to this exact version so that you can download it. I am on my PC, but you're gonna follow these same exact steps whether you're using Windows 10 or 11 on your Steam Deck. These are the same steps that I followed on my Steam Deck, but since I already have it set up, I'm just gonna show you from my PC, which is not set up yet. I'm gonna go ahead and download Glossy and wait for that to open. Once you get this message, you're gonna just accept, scroll down to the bottom. Oh, you don't even have to do that. I'm slow, sorry. Next, next, pick where you want it to download to. I'm going to go ahead and say my other drive here, NVMe. Yes, next, next, create a desktop shortcut, sure. Install, you're just going to go ahead and install this version of Glossy. You're going to want to make sure that both of these boxes are checked. Hit finish. And I'll go ahead and minimize that. Once you get this here, welcome to the Vigum Bus Driver Setup Wizard. You're going to go ahead and install the Vigum Bus Driver, which is, I guess, the driver you're going to need in order to uh, actually support the rest of Glossy. I think what happened was I had a version of Glossy that didn't have the Vigum Bus Driver, and I think this is something you actually need in order to get this to work. You're going to follow all of these next, create new, next, just hit all of the next things that you can. You're gonna go ahead and save it. Once you get to this point, you're gonna wanna create new. And on this screen, you're just gonna go ahead and hit three dots. And you're gonna find you, where Windows is installed on your computer. You're gonna go into Windows. Then you're gonna find System32. Oh, I just saw it, where is it? System32. And here you'll scroll all the way down until you find Notepad which is the main thing you're gonna need to get this to work. So scroll, 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 notepad. We're gonna go ahead and save. And here we're gonna go ahead and add all to Steam. Shortcuts were added, restart Steam for changes to take effect. Restart Steam now. And it'll restart Steam on its own. You're gonna hit okay to this message and it'll sign you back into your Steam. Once you're in Steam, you're going to go to your library, and I've already done this, so it might show up here. Actually, it didn't. Perfect. So you're going to add a game, add a non-Steam game, and here you're going to find Notepad as well. You're going to find the same folder, the same thing that you did for the Glossy app. Uh, so NVMe, no, my bad, local, Windows, 
system 32 again you're gonna find notepad in here again you could probably type it but I'm doing it this way just to make sure that we find the right one once you find notepad you're gonna go ahead and open that make sure it's checked and add selected program once you have notepad added to your steam library and have done the whole glossy setup you can go ahead and hit play on notepad but a few things before I do that, since we are going to lose the trackpads, it is a little bit harder to navigate with the touchscreen on here. So you want to make sure that you go to Steam, Settings, and go to In-Game. And make sure that you have this middle box checked off where it says use the big picture uh, overlay when using a Steam input enabled controller. That way, you still have access to the Steam button to get your trackpads back. You'll see what I mean in a second. So make sure that's checked off. Another thing I like to do is make sure your Xbox Game Pass app is running before you hit play on Notepad, since we are going to lose the trackpads. And we'll hit play on Notepad. And what this does is it basically runs Notepad in background and applies a controller configuration not only to Notepad while it's running in background, but it applies it to the rest of Windows as well. And you'll see here it loads the configuration onto notepad and the rest of windows this window always opens up for me for some reason don't know if that's going to happen to all of you you can hit x on that if you want and now we have lost uh, touchpad support so i can't navigate with a cursor because it just thinks we're using this as a controller at this point you can go ahead and go to your xbox game pass app here we are and i have a few games downloaded some of them you saw in the beginning of the video i'm going to go ahead and load up uh let's go with dead cells or hades i don't know dead cells since it's probably going to load up quick and you'll hit play and it'll load up the game the game is now loaded up and you can see that i have my sticks working the d-pad buttons all work one thing i don't know for sure is if the back buttons will work i don't think they do or if you can map them to anything i haven't tried myself but all of the face buttons work and the sticks and all of that work. So you can hit continue or I'm going to hit continue because I'm the one playing this game. Uh, whatever game you're playing, it should have controller support at this point. And normally, like I said, I wouldn't be able to use the buttons. But now since I did all of that setup with glossy and notepad, I have access to all of my controls in this game. Every game that I've tried, including the ones you saw at the beginning of the video, have worked perfectly fine. The triggers all work. Uh, I don't know if this game has trigger support because it is a side-scroll game, but when I was playing Forza and all of that, it did work just fine. So I would assume it's going to work fine for whatever game in Game Pass you're trying to use. And for the longest time, I was kind of worried that I wouldn't be able to use Game Pass properly with the controller support since it wasn't recognizing the Steam Deck controller. But with this method, you're able to play all of your Game Pass games perfectly fine. And to exit the game, uh, the three finger swipe down will not work. You won't have access to the trackpads. So what you're going to want to do is hit your Steam button. That's why we checked that middle box. And from here, you can exit the shortcut. And it's exiting Notepad. Once you exit Notepad, it doesn't detect the controller. But that's fine because we're done playing the game. Uh, it's saying press space bar it now recognizes this as a mouse and keyboard I like to close the game now we have our trackpad back uh, we can just close all windows and just like that we're back on our desktop if you want to try a different game you're just gonna run the steps again uh, you'll hit play on notepad go back to Xbox game pass and from here you just pick whatever game you're gonna play next and so far, so good. Everything's worked perfectly fine. The configuration loads every time. You're able to play your Xbox Game Pass games with the Steam Deck controller. I did show a little bit of me using a controller on tabletop mode and desktop mode. You do not need the notepad strategy to be able to play your Game Pass games. If you're using tabletop or desktop, you just use whatever adapter, whatever controller you're using and plug and play it will recognize your controller as long as you know, well at least an xbox controller if you're using a ds4 for ps4 controller ps5 controller uh i haven't tried any of that but if you're using an xbox controller it will pick it up right away and you'll just be able to play your games uh with an xbox controller plugged in but that is pretty much how you get your xbox game pass games to work with the steam deck controllers fully functional and I'm really glad this works because now I have access to so many more games. 
I will have a video to show how I can play xCloud games or cloud gaming games through Xbox Game Pass. This is PC Game Pass running on Windows 11 on the Steam Deck. I'm going to stress that a lot of times because I'm sure someone out there will try this with SteamOS and whether it works or not, I do not know. You can try to follow the same steps and maybe it does work. I'm not too sure. If you were stressing about figuring out how to get your controllers to work on Game Pass, hopefully this helped you out. And um, all of the games I've tried look really good, play really good. Forza worked perfectly fine, even though the load time initially was a lot longer. I am running all of my games off of a micro SD, so maybe that has something to do with it. But nothing so bad that I can really complain about. That is pretty much it for this video. I'm glad I got all of my Xbox Game Pass games working. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Feel free to search other people's content. I had to do some digging myself to actually figure out what worked and what didn't work. I had to try different versions of Glossy. If you get frustrated, just ask questions and figure it out. That's part of the fun of the Steam Deck itself to figure out what works and what doesn't work. If you're a tinkerer, this is definitely the device for you. It's different from the Nintendo Switch because everything just works as intended or a console of any sort. They just The games just work as intended. This is more like figuring out what works and what doesn't, but once you get it working, it's kind of satisfying to see so i'm actually happy that this ended up working and that i'm able to play my game pass games on here i will have a video dedicated to cloud gaming xbox game pass through microsoft edge and uh something along those lines but for now that's it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully you found it informative as always i will see you on the next video thank you guys for watching